lesson is about requirements processing. Now that we have seen how it is possible to express purchasing needs, we will see how these requirements can be processed in SAP S4HANA. The requirements processing is the possibility to handle purchase requirements quickly and efficiently by gathering them and requesting suppliers for quotation. This leads to a simplification of the source of supply assignment. What is a request for quotation? It is a request sent to one or more vendors to communicate their conditions for a specific possible order. They are requested to submit quotations indicating prices of materials along with their terms and conditions such as delivery time or payment terms. Once a request for quotation, also called RFQ, has been created, sent to vendors, and an answer has been received, it allows the purchasing department to take the best buying decision for the company. They can procure materials with the best conditions possible, such as product prices, delivery time, and delivery condition, and easily compare them between each other directly in the system. It also allows them to process the purchase requisitions without a defined source of supply and find the best one for the future order. A request for quotation invites the vendor to submit a quotation indicating prices and terms and conditions. It contains details about goods and services that they can procure, which quantity, the expected delivery date, and the date on which the bid must be made. Quotations are the replies from vendors on requests for quotation that have been sent to them. The requirements processing in SAP S4HANA is a three-step process. It starts with the creation of a request for quotation, in which a document to be shared externally with suppliers is created. The RFQ is sent to potential suppliers, and they send in return a quotation. The quotations received by the suppliers are then recorded in the system. Once all quotations are received, or at least enough of them to proceed with an order on time, they are compared between each other in the system. Creating RFQs, recording responses, and comparing prices are the requirements processing steps before processing purchase orders. The creation of an RFQ can be done through the transaction ME41 manually. We will see this transaction in a demo in SAP in the next lesson. They can also be created automatically from the purchase requisition as detailed in the previous lesson. After an RFQ has been created and the quotation has been received, we can create the quotations manually in the system using the transaction ME47 and the quotations must be in reference to an existing request for quotation. It is not possible to create a quotation that is not linked to a request for quotation RFQ. After that, we can compare the quotations using the transaction ME49, and this is of course based on the existing quotations that have been recorded in the system. Now, let's see in SAP how to create RFQs in the system through the transaction ME41, create the quotations in ME47, and compare them using ME49.